Hi guys, what we're going to do now is I'm going to walk you through an example of how to fit a uh, regression model. Uh, here we have an example here. Uh, there are a couple of different methods available, uh, but this is my favourite and I think it's very easy. So let's see if I can help you. So here's our question. We have six subjects uh, with variables x and y. And the first thing we're going to do is find the mean value for x and the mean value for y. So of course we do that by adding all the values for x up and dividing by how many there are. 6, so we have 8 plus 6 plus 5 plus 5, 3, 1, divided by 6, and we have x equals 4.7. Just trying to hide this bit from you for now. <laughs> and similarly for y, we have y equals 33.3. So there we are. So, so far so good. Now what I'm going to do is add another column here and another column there. There we are. So what we have now is x minus mean. Uh, xi just means uh, we can have any of these x values. i can be 3 and we'll have 5. So what we're going to do is have 8 minus 4.7 and we're going to fill in this uh, column here. So 6 minus 4.7, and that gives us 1.3. I'm going to work our way down here. So we have 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 again. And then we have uh, minus 1.7 and minus 3.7. And we do the same for y with our y mean value. So we'll have 1 minus 33.3 and so on. Thirty-six point seven and forty-six point seven. So that was quite easy getting all that bit done there. Now what we want to do is we want to fit a linear regression model. Now linear models are of the form y equals mx plus c. Well, all we want to find here is the m and the c. So the first thing we're going to try and find is m. And we do that with the following formula. So we need to learn two formula, one for m and one for c. So we have m equals the sum, so adding stuff up, of xi minus x bar multiplied by yi minus y bar all over the sum of xi minus x bar squared. Well, what you notice about 1, 2, 3, these two things here, well, we just worked them out. So where we have sum xi minus x bar times by yi minus y bar, all that means, let me just adjust the camera for you there, all that means we have to do is 3.3 .3 times minus 32.3 plus 1.3 times minus 29.3 plus 0.3. So we do that for every single line here. So these two multiplied plus these two plus these two plus these two plus these two plus these two. Plus these two. And that's all that is meant by this uh, little fella by here. Uh, underneath we have the sum of x uh, xi minus x bar squared. You probably know what that is already. We have 3.3 squared plus 1.3 squared plus 0.3 squared, so on, uh, plus 3.7 squared, because of course the minus becomes a plus for the negatives. So what you have to do now is write it all out. Now this can take quite a while on a calculator, but it's still quite an easy method to do because it's just number crunching. Minus 32.3. So now it's just a matter of making sure that you copy everything out and put it into your calculator correctly because that's where a lot of errors are made, of course. Minus 18.3, minus 1.7. All I'm doing here is taking the minus out as I go. The last one. 
So that's our top line. So that's that bit done. Now divide, I shouldn't really do this, divided by the sum of the x value squared, uh, which is 3.3 .3 squared plus 1.3 squared plus 0 0.3 squared and another one plus 1.7 squared plus 3.7 squared now if you put that into your calculator that big old uh, set of numbers there you should have m equals minus 13.17 so fantastic you've done that but we need to hold on to this m value when we're working out uh, c up here Okay, so we've done the hard part now just to calculate C. And C, I use C hat just because it's an uh, estimate. You don't necessarily have to put that unless uh, your professor wants to be very picky. So we have C equals the sum of Y minus M that we just worked out multiplied by the sum of all the X's divided by n. Now n, of course, is just the number of subjects we have, which is six. So yeah, six different rows. So the sum of the y's, so 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 15, uh, all the way through to 80, minus uh, the value we just worked out, which was minus 13 0.17 times by the sum of all the x's so 8 plus 6 plus 5 all the way through to 1 divided by 6 and that's basically it so I'll quickly show you uh, that you're putting the right numbers in just in case you're follow up, following along so I have 1 plus 4 plus 30 plus 15 70 plus 80 I'm just going to skip down here for a bit, plus 13.17, so because we have minus, minus, I'm just going to make that a plus, uh, times by 8, and 6, 5, 5, 3, 1, all divided by 6, and that gives us, I'll put it over here, 94.8. And now we have, have our m value as minus 13.17 and our c value as 94.8. We can write out our linear regression model as y equals minus 13.7x plus 94.8. I uh, hope you found it as easy as I did when I discovered that method the first time. Thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to click subscribe, like the video. Have a good day.